Change the starter. Do it quick. Do it quick. Wait, that's you said it was two, two screws. Yeah, it is. My friend, two screws and three plugs. All this time for nothing. That's a fail. What's up guys, welcome back to another video. Today, I'm gonna be installing the exhaust, uh, adding the fluids. What's up guys, I'm getting done here, bleeding out the brakes. Uh, while, I'm do while I'm bringing out the brakes, I'm going to be installing these uh, this new rear uh, molding I bought off for all four sides. <coughs> Mines were kind of worn out and and there was no saving them. So, these are another uh, little expense that are going in new. Just finished bleeding the back, working my way to the front now. So, see if we get started before the year ends. Stay tuned. Sorry guys, I just wanted to show this. This is actually kind of nice. These uh, rear uh, moldings actually came with the hardware. This is the first first Toyota part that I actually see that it comes with the hardware. I, I had to use. I thought I had to use my old stuff, but that's pretty nice. Thank you, Toyota. It's about time you give me something for free. What's up, guys? Happy New Year! It's January first, twenty twenty. Wanted to give you guys an update. I wanted to get the car running and started by, by yesterday, always the 31st. That didn't happen. So when I went to bleed the front brakes, uh, instead of bleeding it through the small port, my smart, you know, ass opened it by the big one and the piece kind of broke in there. I don't know if you see it. Um, so that was, the, that was the first thing. Now the good thing about that, I actually went by auto parts and they sell it's a universal kit and the little the little uh, nozzle fits right on there and the thread looks exactly the same i haven't confirmed the 100 percent but it looks the same so that was that problem i skipped it i went to turn it on gave it power everything has power um did it didn't turn the motor I guess the, the, the starter might be a little stuck or something and have to tap it. That's not the problem. The problem I discovered by back here around the tire area has a huge. Woo! Sorry. Yeah. That. Go. That. Go. Go. I was enjoying a little Christmas gift. So by back here by the rear driver's side where the fuel lines are has a pretty bad leak in one of them and again this was never touched by me or the body shop so i assume it's just a random you know one of the lines might have gotten corroded and it just started leaking out of nowhere <clears throat> so that was another headache so i'm just gonna go ahead and change out both lines now that i'm here from the from the fuel filter which is right on here right under the driver's side to the back of the tank and yeah that's that, so hopefully uh hopefully I guess in another week I gotta wait till the fuel lines don't get here. And I'll keep tackling uh, the little things like the let's see if I do the brake caliber or the connectors for the for the lights. See how they're both like male. That's what I was gonna say. This is for the fog light by the way. Uh where I put it. Okay, so here they are. These are all right so these are the bulbs that go into the fog light obviously we take them out I'm not sure if anybody runs into this problem but here's the turn signal it's on right now this is the harness that they use to convert the passenger side if you see it's a male and male end so obviously it doesn't go in 
Now, it took me a while to find the junkyard, but it's off a of 94 Camry. On their fog lights, they use the same plug. So, this is what I gotta do. I gotta swap out this plug into here, and same thing with the with the little uh, running parking light, whatever you wanna call it. Same thing here. Same car, 94 Toyota Camry. Just in case anybody has the same problem. All right, guys. So yeah, I'll, <clears throat> I'll get these little uh, little things done. Install the lip. Uh, finish getting that uh, a nozzle installed and installing the brake. Taking out the old one that broke in there. Hopefully that goes smooth. And uh, and yeah, just wait for the for the for the little uh, for the fuel lines to come in. I also got these uh, bags to come in with the. Uh, the bags for the doors i gotta replace so i can put on the door panels these are the coat hook the coat hook i'm sorry whatever you want to call it remember that's what goes on on there it's not a regular cap if anybody needs a part number um these are my little disappointed i thought it comes with the like pre silicone already just to stick it on there it does not so i guess you have to apply your own silicone and put it on there yourself so i'll be ripping these out and just putting these on What's up guys good news i was able to take out the the broken piece in there she was a little pain in the ass but she came out uh rim is on so you can't really see it but there it is it's the new one so it, it fit on the well uh we bled the brakes we're good on that i'm gonna i'm gonna change these uh, two connectors really quick now and i'm gonna take advantage that the car is up on the jack stand and go ahead and put the lip on already so i have no you have no need to to raise it again so so yeah What's up guys, just finished uh, installing the new the new uh, fuel lines. These are the old ones that were, that were feeding the rail before. As you can see here, this one not, not, but this one clearly has corrosion on it. In fact, when you fold it in half, you hear it, you hear it crack. <clears throat> so change that, to, uh, change that out, uh, both sides. See here. Remember the car here. You see them. All the way to the front where the filters are. So yeah, we're about to uh I'm about to give it a start here, see if uh, see if it turns on. No issues. Hopefully there's no other leaks. You gonna change the starter? Do it quick. Do it quick. Wait, that's you said it was two, two screws. Yeah, it is. My friend, two screws and three plugs. All this time for nothing. That's a fail. As you probably saw in the clip before, uh, I'm still trying to get the car started. I tried cranking it up again last night after we fixed the fuel leak. Uh, we ended up changing both lines, the both feeds. They had uh, quite some corrosion in them. Uh, I already got rid of them, threw more in the trash, so I can't show you guys. But um, I found my, not really a spare, but another starter I had here that I don't know what's wrong with it. It has an X on it, so I'm gonna try to I'm gonna try to connect it outside with my old man, see if it uh, wants to turn. Hook it up to a battery. And I'll try swapping that out and hopefully get this thing started. You can see on here, I had to take off uh, the rear setup again. I used the two uh, lines that we changed yesterday, the two feeds over here on the, on the PHR bracket. 
I had a piece of the return before the my uh, my flex fuel sensor that's right under here. So I went, went ahead and replaced that one too. I uh, have the battery here charging a little bit. So when we're done, we just power it up. I gotta clean all this, this old crusty silicone that's on here on the bottom of the lid so I can seal it back up. Otherwise, uh, it does smell in here inside the cabin without sealing it. All right, here we are trying it outside. Works outside. finally say that after six months the car is finally ready and it's finally done uh, I am I am beyond excited uh, I'll probably try to put in as much clips as I can but this thing probably took over 60 tries to uh, to get her uh, to get her going um, you know initially it was the the fuel, the fuel line, I guess it's set for so long and it just built up corrosion and it finally, you know, it developed a leak, which is a good thing because I'm, I'm happy that it, you know, that it, that it happened here and not, you know, it could have been on the road, you could have landed on the exhaust and it could have been a lot worse. So that's, on a good side, it's a good thing. I replaced both of those lines. Uh, the other thing is uh, the starter. <clears throat> the starter, I don't know what was wrong. Uh, this one that was on the car wasn't really bad because I tried it outside with my old man and it, it was it was working fine as well uh, What I think it was it was uh, one of the there's a little plug next to the to the ignition That I had I had not connected so that's what I, I think my uh, my push start button was interfering And it was that I just for, I forgot to connect it as soon as I connected it it started you know st the starter started spinning fine um <clears throat> what else the the fuel that was in here it, it, the my tank was on e 
so I knew there was very very little fuel left but the line had pressure so I figured even if it was old gas you know it was gonna start no matter what so I ended up going to the to the, to the pump got five pump, uh, five gallons of, of E85 I put that in there and I guess after it started mixing you know it started kind of getting you know started getting intact together and finally it cranked over and it, and it turned on and and here we are so uh, what's left to do in the car minor stuff I have to go get my panels from the from the my storage everything's ready to go inside uh, this thing which is my uh, the gas tank back here I'm ripping off all this old uh, silicone that's on there on the cap I'm gonna reseal that back up put my sound system back on and that's it guys i think oh i'm sorry i the one thing i do have to do is just hook up the vacuum lines to the two wastegates in the front which is you know it's no big deal it's just just gotta cut them and see where i'm gonna put the teeth and stuff but uh yeah probably the next thing uh i wanted to put it back on the dyno i want to make sure that the car is uh is in tip-top shape i want to get lance's approval make sure the motor is still making power you know if he says it's good to go, then, you know, I, I know it's good to go and we could rip on it all we want. Uh, so, <clears throat> so I thank all you guys so far, everyone that has subscribed. I really appreciate the support. Uh, we finally reached the end of the build process. Now we can actually enjoy the car like, you know, how I have for almost, what, 15 years now. You know, it's part of the super game. You have your downtime and your, and your fun time, but hey. What can we do? That's how projects are. Like always, guys, thank you for the support. Like and, like and subscribe. If you guys want to comment on the video, see what kind of content you guys want to see, you can shoot me some ideas. You're more than welcome. Uh, I'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you, guys.